Hayade, Hayade, Hayade. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Two Time back with another banger, you know what I'm saying? And uh, today, I have a good video for y'all today. Um, I got some, recently I got some stuff from KFC and I looked up some videos about people are really getting paid to just eat, bro. Like just, you know, buying food that they never ate before and sitting down in front of, in front of a camera and basically eating the food. So, um, I got some stuff from KFC today. Uh, I don't, I mean, I, I fuck with KFC. It's just, I haven't ate KFC in, in a good hot minute. So, um, I got something, I guess this new, uh, a macaroni and, let me see. You wanna see that? I'm saying, um, yeah, ch yeah, chicken little and a mac and, mac and cheese bowl. And that's, that's what's going down. So. Yeah. What's up, y'all? What's going on, everybody? I forgot about this shit. Mm -hmm. I made so many beats, y'all don't understand. But um, how's everybody doing? You know what I'm saying? I had a great day. You know what I'm saying? We got... Uh, yeah, I think... We already did this part. So let's just get to the fun part. Let's eat this motherfucker. You feel me? So... Let's go ahead and dive on in this shit and, uh, so the first thing we got is a macaroni and cheese bowl from KFC now I haven't ate KFC in a in a in a while you feel me I'm hold on God. hold on Let's see. Okay, I haven't ate KFC in a while as you can tell um so we're gonna open this. I got my water, you know. Drink more water, kids! You know what I'm saying? But we're gonna, we're gonna dive on into this, you know what I'm saying? Woo! I need y'all to look at this. It's gonna, that bit still steaming. I see it. All right, so I'm gonna get close into it. And so I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? I got some, um, I'm also, we're not just eating, you feel me? I also got Q&As on my other phone, um, and shit like that. And we're gonna get into that once I get into this, because I'm hungry. I haven't ate all fucking day, and we, we finna fucking eat. Mm -hmm. I almost killed that shit. Oh my God. Oh, no. Uh -huh. Water does your body good. Water boy, <laughs> ain't going to fuck around with no water boy. You trip. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. All right. 
let's get to some hold on let me, let me get like one more bite of this because this bitch here mm -hmm. a bit some pressure mm -hmm. that's money well spent oh. mm -hmm. Lay up. I'm rating that and I'm a little hung I'm, I mean I ain't really eating nothing all day so I'm gonna rate this I'm gonna rate that nine and a half real real shit like it's good you know what I'm saying be making your taste buds dance but it's a nine and a half I'm glad it is it's a nine and a half a nine and a half, man. A nine and a half. So, we're going to put that bill over there. Now, let's get into some motherfucking questions. All right, so, uh, I'm shouting out the people, like I said, um, on my Snapchat, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm shouting out all the people that gave me a question. Now, not that, but... Now, now why are KFC trying me like that? Like, what, 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 what the, what the fuck is this? Like, y'all see how this bitch roll? Y'all see this shit? <laughs> that shit is ridiculous. What is he? They call this, I guess, a, a chicken little. I don't know what. It, this shit is too small as hell. But I guess that's why they call it chicken little. So shout out to Fulio, okay. Um, my my boy Fulio, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying I mean the basketball star, you know what I'm saying? Hey, if you watch the video, bro. I'm proud of you, bro. I see what you're doing, on, you know, on the court and shit. Keep up, bro. You gonna you gonna make it, bro. You gonna be you gonna be famous, bro. You gonna be up there with the greats, you feel me? Um, so the first question he put was, what's my body count? Now, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm going to shock y'all. I'm going to shock a lot of people. I really am. Um, my body count. Now, I'm, I'm being completely 100% honest with this shit right here. I got five bodies. Only got five. I only got five bodies. You know what I mean? And then the second question was explain how you crashed everyone. <laughs> this nigga funny, man. I can't lie to you. That nigga is most definitely funny. Um shit. Um well, most of them are my exes. So can I like I gotta go in detail? I'm not I'm not finna go in detail. <laughs> but basically <laughs> This nigga funny for this shit. So basically like I'ma just give y'all a gist of it. But basically my first one You know, we, we was at the fair or whatever and was on the Ferris wheel, she was giving me a head on her iPhone. And one thing leads to another. I'm fucking right at the fair, you know what I'm saying? In the bathroom, you know what I'm saying? So it's the first one. Second one. I'm, I'm trying to remember. Yo, yo, this man make me go all the way back, bro. Like, damn. <laughs> um. That man, like, I'm gonna be. I don't remember all of them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna remember 
I remember the, the main ones that I really remember that's really iconic. One of them was my ex. I ain't gonna say her name, I ain't finna put her out here. But um I was at her house, you feel me? And her mom was at home and basically <laughs> I fucked on her mama. <laughs> I fucked on her mama bed and one thing lead to another, her mom did not fuck with me, so we broke we broke and basically her mom knew. Like her mom the reason why her mother knew is because she was watching us. <laughs> yes guys, she was watching us, bro. Like she was Cause her mom had a hidden camera in her room, and she was watching us, bro. And we were like, I was, I ain't, I, yeah. I fucked, you know, I fucked one of my exes on one of my bodies. I fucked it on her mama bed. You know what I'm saying? Call me shiesty, call it what you want, but this is raw and uncut. You feel me? This is raw, and uncut, too late out this motherfucker. <laughs> you dig what I'm saying? Um. Man, the third one. I'm gonna be on the eye. That that shit's a blur. The fourth one. A hotel, hotel room type shit. When I was in uh, um, when I was in Daytona and shit. When I figured out I was gonna graduate type shit. I was talking to this bill and whatever. This this and that. And the third and. Cam, Cam, you know about this one, but, <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I crashed in her hotel room, and her friend got jealous and some shit like that. I don't know. I don't know. Fifth one, I took on a date to the movies and shit. And then, you know, I, I fought, I, hey, mm -hmm. I fucked in the bathroom. I fucked in the, uh, in the, um, in the car bathroom, dog. Like, that was that. <laughs> Next question. Um, shout out to my boy C4. You know what I'm saying? He said, "Who was the first person you smoked with?" The first, the very first person I smoked with would have to be damn yeah it was i'm a, no i'm gonna be honest it was my older brother it was my older brother um it was my older brother sean it was my older brother sean um you know i'm you know i, I see i see greatness in him you know what i'm saying when other people bash him i see greatness in him but he was the first person i did smoke with it was it was my older brother sean um Cause he was like, I don't, he said, if you want to start smoking or whatever, he said, I want to be, you know, the first person you smoke with because I don't really trust a lot of niggas. I don't trust niggas either. You feel me? If you ain't my family, you ain't my, you know what I'm saying? You ain't somebody I call my brother. You feel me? Then I ain't, ain't you know, I ain't fucking with you. You hear me? But yeah, that's the first person to smoke with my older brother. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Next question. You know what it means. Mask on, motherfucker. You all know what it means. Boom. What's the most blunts you smoked in one day? Now, in, in one day, I I can't really tell you, bro. I'm a, like my brother could tell you, even though you know. Shout out and you know, free you know, free wealth and everything, but. He can tell you, but I'm I'm a pothead, bro. I, I will kill blunts, my nigga. I I really do this, <laughs> feel me? But you know, the most blunts I smoked in one day, bro. I don't even know because when I was in Orlando, bro, that shit was different. We were, I was smoking every day, and then when I went to Kansas City, that's another thing. But I'm gonna tell you that. I'll tell y'all about that. But when I went to Kansas City, we smoked. We smoked so many 
once, two, like, usually, like, in a normal session, the last time I use, like, the last time I smoke, the last time I smoke, and it was a lot of blunts in one session, and one day, it's probably like eight, seven, some shit like that. And that's that's real shit, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't lying to you. That's about seven blunts to the face, you know? <laughs> seven to eight blunts to the face. Um, and that was, that question was for Kwanzo. Y'all probably know him, Some for the people you don't. That's my boy, you know what I'm saying? He do YouTube as well, so go check him out. Um, and shit like that. Um, and shit like that. Next question. This is my homeboy Trey's question. Um, nah, this is for the ladies, I guess. He wanted me to ask the question for the ladies. Um, basically he's saying, he, the question is, which one is better? Hood sex or romantic sex? Y'all leave that in the comments or whatever y'all want to do and shit. And boom, just let me know what's up. But, um, yeah. If y'all want to follow him or anything, I'm going to try to leave it in the description. But, uh, I think it's TV Vontae, but I, I'm gonna get the details. Don't don't worry about it. I'm gonna get all the stuff, the descriptions, of everybody's shit. Don't don't worry about it. Next question. This is my homie Kaden. Welcome, bro. Appreciate you for giving me the question. And I did tell y'all I was gonna give you a shout out. And I don't lie, you hear me? But uh, my dream car. All right. So if anybody, if everybody that fuck with me know. My favorite car, my nigga, that I gotta have in my garage, my nigga, is got to be a Corvette Stingray. And then right after that, you got the Hellcat. And right after that, that's the Lambie. That's the Lambo. That's the Lambo Aventador. That's the one I want. Or Huracan. It doesn't really matter. But I'm going to get there. I'm going to do it. And then, what motivates me the most? No, what motivates me the most is I see and I have seen so much shit, bro, of people not following their dreams and not, you know, following what they want to do in life and to the point where they had a nine to five and they don't want to work, you feel me? So I'm like, okay, look, you feel me? I got a gift. You know what I'm saying? People rock with me. People get me, you know, subscribers and shout out to all the subscribers that I have. I appreciate all you, mo I appreciate you all. Literally, there's none of this shit would have been possible if it wasn't for y'all. So I appreciate that. And y'all just keep supporting your boy. And I'm going to keep dropping bangers, man. Oh, God. But what motivates me the most is, you know, Going for your goals, bro. You know, going for your goals, proving people wrong, being me, bro. I, I was just like, I'm just great motivation, bro. Like, literally, like, I see a lot of people not follow their dreams and just go work a nine to five. And I was like, you know, I, I can't do that, you know? Um, I mean, but don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with doing that, you know? The, you know, to bounce out and do what you got to do, you feel me? But, you know, I, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm currently going to do it, but not forever. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's only temporary. Like, if y'all really, you know, work a nine to five, you know what I'm saying? It's good to get to where you got to go. And if you got a dream, whatever money you make on that nine to five, boost that in the dream that you want to do, bro. And I promise you, you're going to do what you're going to do. If that makes sense. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's what motivates me. <laughs> Next one. This is my homeboy. DeAndre, you know, little bro Tank, you know, he go by many names. Black man, 
he you know who he is. Um, I appreciate this man because you know he always seen greatness in me. A lot of people seen greatness in me, but he he always seen greatness in me. He um, you know what I'm saying he really pushed me more to do YouTube and stuff. And I I mean I push myself, but he pushed me more. He's like, bro, you can do it, bro. You just gotta keep going, gotta keep going, gotta keep going. And you know, and so that's what I'm doing. So this is his question for the ladies. Um, he said. He said, "What do y'all think about men coming up to the coming up to y'all in public, and how do y'all, how does that make y'all feel?" And y'all write that in the comments or whatever, and let your boy know you did me. Um, thank you, DeAndre. I go wild. I'm gonna go all in and make him show my dad that I can be something. This is my boy Steve, man. I went to middle school with this man, bro. He's a legend. Um, he told me a personal question and I fought with it. You know, he told me, what is your drive to keep going? Bro, progress. I'm making progress. People don't probably don't really see it, but I, I see it. I see it in myself. You feel me? So Steve, if you see this video, bro, what drives me to keep doing this, bro? Me, bro. Progress. The progress I'm seeing. The, the subscribers I'm going up to getting. You know what I'm saying? People actually liking my stuff on TikTok, you know, sending it, sharing it and stuff. That all of this stuff is what's driving me to keep going, bro. You know, and that's all I can really tell you. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Steve, man. Shout out to Steve. Mm -hmm. Next question. This is my boy Julian. Um, he gave me a question. He said, the most dangerous places you've been? Now, when I was living in Orlando, I went to a lot of different places, you know, riding around in a minivan and shit like that, doing crazy shit. I ain't gonna say too much. But, um, I've been to Mercy Drive a few times. Um, I went to Kansas City, aka Killer City, you know, shit like that. Um, went to Atlanta, you know, and shit like that. So I've been to certain places, you know. I'm not done traveling. Trust that. I'm not, you know, I love traveling. Getting on a plane is amazing. That's a, I'm trying to tell y'all, if y'all never traveled or hopped on a plane, y'all got to do it, dog. Y'all got to do it. Y'all got to do it. At least do it for me, you feel me? Because I'm trying to tell you, I get this bag, man. I'm going all over the world, and I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping worth the damn. Y'all gonna see vlogs out the ass. Y'all gonna see it all, bro. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. But back to the question. Yeah, I've been to a couple places and shit. I'm not gonna say I've been all around the world, but I haven't yet. But it will happen. But yeah, for the most part, you know, for the most part. Oh, I got one more question. It just came in too. It came in the back end. It came in the back end. Um, so this is a uh, shout out to TJ. Okay, this is a question from TJ. Um, Don. You know what you I'm talking about. Um, where do you see yourself in the next five to ten years? But be honest with you, in all seriousness, I see myself being successful in this YouTube stuff and traveling around the world, being self-employed, got my own merch line, and all types of stuff. Man. To be honest, the sky is the limit, bro. And one thing about dreams bro you gotta catch you gotta chase them bro you gotta chase some dreams bro because if you don't you're gonna be looking back like damn i should have did this damn i should have did that so if y'all got a in dream look if y'all got a fucking dream chase that motherfucker bro don't even don't even let that be a fly off chase it go run down on the motherfucker you feel me because you never know what's gonna happen you, you never know so but yeah tj i see myself Traveling, 
doing a whole bunch of traveling, bro. Being successful in this YouTube stuff. I'm part, you know, I'm getting paid by YouTube. I got my own little merch line that I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about. You know, already, you know what I'm saying? I got my game and YouTube popping. I got my like, I got a vlogging channel. Like, I got a vlogging channel. I haven't posted on it, but that's where the prank's gonna be and the vlogs and all that other stuff. But for the most part, yeah, bro. Mm -hmm. I see myself up. Oh God, like that's just the motivation I have. I see myself up doing what I want to do, not working on 95 and all that type of stuff. So I got to go hard on this, man. Real talk, but yeah, man. Appreciate you for the uh, question. And, um, yeah, I appreciate you for that question. That was a great question, by the way. And much love, man. Much love. Love to eat. But, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Love, love, love my bang. You know what I'm saying? Quality going to get better, obviously. But for the most part, I appreciate all y'all, man. I appreciate all the support and everything. Um, I appreciate it all, man. Real shit, man. Like, <laughs> ain't none of this shit would have been possible if it wasn't for y'all. So, uh, I love all y'all. Uh, thank you for the people that gave me the questions. Um, love all my fans, all my subscribers, all that type of shit. Um, I'm still gonna do some pranks. I'm gonna do some pranks on my dudes. My dudes, you heard me? But just stay tuned. But um, I love y'all. It's your boy Too Lit and I'm out of this bitch. I'ma go all in and make the crowd go wild. I'ma go all in and make him show my dad that I can be something. Cause he really think I ain't gonna be nothing.